my god. Power of Copium. Power of Hopium. It's paying off? I'm not gonna get my... I'm not gonna get too invested. I'm gonna get my poor heart broken. If I keep, you know, relying on... Oh my god, they're doing it, they're doing it. And the doing it part, right? The Endorsey versus... Sorry, the Anak versus Ranch fight. It was pretty cool. Things are definitely a lot more vibrant, moving, like hype. And just like, you know, I said, that, that motherfucker, what's his name? The one that continues to just keep failing upwards. Paracule, right? His comedy with the hype fights and everything, it, it, it did give me a very good experience thinking that like, oh my god, the Tower of God workshop battle arc, it's finally here and it's finally paying off. Fingers crossed, hopefully, you know, they can continue with this standard. And the funniest thing is that this standard is if it's not even that high, right? It's just that we've been conditioned with so much garbage that suddenly something average seems a bit more better than usual. Let's begin today's reaction. My man Rack Training! The reunion. What a big baby, bro. What a big baby. And, you know, Endorsey and, you know, Yun is here as well. So, you know, the identity being revealed, it's, it's out. It's out. We finally reunited. <laughs> Blue turtle is yellow turtle now. Endorsey says nothing? That's right. There's that date. You remember? What if Bumps' is date? What date? I don't remember a date back in season one. Cause season one, that date shit got a retcon, bro. A date was not mentioned at all in season one. And then in season two, there was like a flashback. I'm like, oh shit, they had a set up date? And Dorsey blushing. And Dorsey blushing. Is that Bum Bum? What is that move? Is that, is that Bum Bum? It's the golden, it's the, it's the pink snitch. Right? The, uh, the Harry Potter's Quidditch example. The golden snitch. You, you get it and you get a special prize during the, uh, the shooting pre-match before getting into it, right? I think it is. So it's just crazy mobility? Dude, that prize is crazy. Boom, boom. Misen, Gosen, Prince. Yo, he's so fancy today. Aww. Oh, Prince knew immediately, bro. Prince is actually like new Prince. He's so enjoyable. He knows exactly what's happening. Me saying, let's get out of here. Gotta let the grown ups do their thing. Come on. <laughs> yeah, sure. I love me too. It's us. Oh. This is worse than like a beast person where their tails are wagging or their ears are very perked up or elves blushing with their ears too. Like, bro, is it? How obvious is this? I think it's very cute though. Oh shit, Daft Punk can play some romantic songs too? This is in the middle of the street? I think Sophia's crazy. Emily as well, Beta. And the final finished product, the Thorn. Dr. Sophia does not love you. That's crazy because Emily is also created by Dr. Sophia through that, you know, human Emily, right? Kasano, if you don't love you, man. No, become angels. You decide your own fate. No. <laughs> They're still sneaking. I thought y'all getting some meat. Oh. Ooh. This feels like a death flag. <laughs> Ooh. Shit like this, I don't like because, you know, it's a flag. I hope it's a good flag. Hopefully it's not a bad flag. Fingers crossed. Hey, Nova. 
みんなを外へ連れ出したのやることじゃねえよ奴らとお前の関係を知りたかっただけだ<笑>僕は明日のトーナメントでこのチームを抜けます What? You're leaving the team? Who you siding with? You're just AFK? 明日のトーナメントでこのチームを抜けます、uh, Okay? What a twist? Like a flame in the wind Who's the flame in the wind? 長良戦の勝者を決めるチーム別トーナメントを行いますティーム vs. ティーム。マッドッグ vs. ファグ。ティーム vs. ティーム。ティーム 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 vs. ティーム。You have like the top dudes kind of competing, and then the shitty people will then, you know, come out on top, and then it's one on one, I guess. Because, or else, I feel like Mad Dog versus Fug would be the grand finals. You can buy items? Yo, yo, this is League. This is Dota. This is RTA. What the hell? You go and farm mobs? You go back home? You buy shit? You move on? You got gold! The first blood! What the hell are these dudes? Oh, B. I guess Wang Nan can't use his Pokeballs? We summon teammates? Okay. Bridge battle. I mean, it doesn't really matter who wins here, right? Who the fuck gives it? Who cares about these two characters? I got no clue who they are, but the. This guy's design looks funny, so I want him to win. Jesus. Bundawan. Bro, his name is Bunda? <laughs> Bundawan, bro. You know what Bunda means? It means booty. Bunda. Girls got big Bunda. Big cheeks. Let's go, Bunda. Oh, the bee, though. This bee is so strong. Hmm. She already met him. She knows the truth. She don't want to talk. That's quite a development, I would say. Shibisu back in season one was just simping for Endorsi and you know other you know Zahad princess, thinking, "Oh my God, Zahad princess are saving me." I remember that. And now he's grown to a state where basically the Zahad princesses. They're like his daughters. He's like a grown ass man. Daughter comes back from high school. The drama going on. What's wrong? She don't want to talk. His name is Vesta? Vespa, I think? Vespa is crazy. Like, I totally underestimated him because he's a little bee. It's a cute looking bee. He was a menace, though. He was a menace during the whole gun pre games thing. And like, he just took out Bunda. <laughs> I mean, I don't think Bunda was very strong, but off screen. <laughs> Vespa Clutch. Okay. This is the important shit. Temple. Key to the grand prize. Get the key. Go to temple, get the key. Beta? What the hell? Whose team are you on? Also, Bomb said he's switching teams. Like, like, does that mean he's switching to Mad Dog team? Because he said, like, I'm switching teams or some shit last, like, before this started, right? Oh, there's three? There's three Mad Dogs. Okay. I don't think that's gonna be easy though. That's sus. Mm, that's sus. That's sus, right? Alone? You don't want any surveillance? No one wants to see what you're doing? 
after he says some shit about like leaving teams. Refresh will probably understand what's going on, right? Good luck. Hello, R7. Is it gotcha? Is it RNG? Okay. Cost a point, so it takes like different points to summon. It would be so funny if summoning like weaker characters were lower points and higher characters were higher points. And we could like, I don't know, we try to summon Prince or something. It's like very, very low. We try to summon someone way stronger, it's way high. Eliminated participants. They can get like resurrected. We can summon bomb if Fug loses to the mad dog. What? The summoning pool is beyond just our main roster. Like, Bama loses, and if Mad Dog loses, we could summon Mad Dog. Is that what they're implying? And that's why Bama is saying, like, I'm switching teams in expectation that someone will summon him? What? Oh shit, Kratro coming in. The Pyromancer. Oh god, it's these two again. That's a very shiny bald. The reflection on his head makes an exclamation mark. You got the sixth sense, huh? The bald sense. <laughs> this premonition, the supernatural sixth sense, he acquired by sacrificing his hair. Loading, loading. Takes time! Bullshit! Five minutes?! We gotta survive five?! Oh, who's that lady? He almost punched that girl in the face. Three gamblers. Okay, there's rankers. Beta's helping a lot, huh? Come to the th Where is it? I don't know. Deep inside a laboratory? Is it our best interest to die immediately and despawn and then go find the thorn ourselves? I'm not sure, but Beta's cooking up a crazy plan right now, and I don't know if we can trust Beta completely because. No, he's a disgruntled, experimented person who hates what the workshop has done to him, right? And he wants to also enact event, revenge. I think our goals may align and he's not going to be like a bad person. He's just a bit bipolar, right? His personality switch is kind of crazy when he gets like angry. But I think he's like a very volatile, unstable person that we can probably ally with right now. <laughs> Is this the key where the thorn is? No way. The, the, the thorn is hidden on this island where the test is taking place. And the key just happened to be... Okay, sure. Let's go. Novak. Oh, shit. You're looking sick. Novak looking sick. I hope he doesn't get destroyed. Okay, angel girl. Uh, he's also gonna be stealing the thorn. So we just hope that Mad Dog will show up and clutch for us. This is weird because now we're banking on these like crazy people to like save us from Fug. <laughs> Did you have said that? Wait. Why would you say that? Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. I I'm sure Refredjo understands what's going on. He has his suspicions. But isn't this like the most stupid thing you could possibly do? 
Why would you snitch on behalf of Viola, right? What the fuck is- Unless this is some, like, three steps ahead plan where we want to plant that idea into him, but it turns out it's not right. Like, this, this is- This is mind-blowingly stupid to me. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we're supposed to assume by this point it's already too late and irreversible and everyone's already assuming the same shit so him saying it doesn't matter but like it's pretty crazy to me that he just revealed all the fucking plan right here in Tudo Frejo that, that's, that's quite insane to me We're gonna steal the real thorn Okay what are you, bro? I'm scared of Rifrejo. Dude, we're still. S <laughs> this is so silly. Because not only is Huangnan waiting for his summoned Quatro to load in, these fucking idiots are also charging their <laughs> Out. They're gonna take a longer time to charge their attack compared to the summoning. <laughs> Good luck. Well, now they're spamming. Maybe the two aren't one. There's only one. This experiment might cause Wangnan to die. This is crazy, but it's Blue Turtle. I trust him. Yeah, run to your death, bro. Let's do it. The perfect lab experiment. Huh? Perhaps? They can only see half? People whose bodies are split in half. This is the first time I'm hearing about this shit. Okay. Oh, okay. This is a fucking crazy guess, huh? No. Where'd he go? <laughs> Child abuse. Child abuse. <laughs> we're, we're final four now? This is crazy. We showed up here. Come on, summon. Load. Oh shit, two kids show up. Blue Turtle says run at him. Why? Because this one time I heard about two pe two halves living. I just do it, bro. Okay. And they just beat these kids. Now we're top four? This shit's easy. This is a fucking cakewalk. <laughs> Holy shit, it's still summoning. Quaitra <laughs> just did a whole ass fucking gotcha summon animation just lime, bro. Like, you summon, you know, your five-star character, and they have their whole, like, you know, entrance dialogue. He did that. <laughs> Hello, Quaitro. Nice summon. <laughs> Yun? Rack! Did he just say dinosaur when summoned? <laughs> what a convenient fucking plot point. But people can be summoned instantly once the match is over. But when the match is still fucking happening, it's just that stupid ass fucking loading. Alright, it's a penalty. Oh, the mask is off. Is that the real thorn? King Slang Thorn, who is that? Oh, fuck. Dude, this is some crazy lore right now. Long ago, Enryu the Irregular. Enryu is another super crazy name along with Urak Mazino, right? Came to the tower and killed a floor admin. It's beta. Okay, the gods can bleed. The admins can be killed. I wonder if Enryu used the thorn to kill the admin, or the thorn is like, I don't know, some sort of like remains of the admin. 
I don't know, but the thorn was found there when Enryu killed the admin for the first time. It was already dead? The thorn is already dead? What does that mean? Yeah, they couldn't. Okay. The thorn is basically inactive. It's just like dormant. And that's what Horyang and Kasano and Beta probably are. Yep. Yep. Oh shoot, your friends are giving us plot too. To my master? Who's your master? What fuck leader? I'm not gonna lie, this cat is more cute than scary with this orange popped collar shirt. And the guy to the left looks like a starving middle-aged man with a cool hairstyle. They, they do not instill fear into me with these designs. Okay. <laughs> Reflex with the design is scary to me, but those two, I'm not sure. Yeah, Workshop doesn't care. Dude, these scientists are just assholes. A devil to activate the thorn. So, we have the real thorn that's wrapped up outside. And we also have a devil within us. And I'm sure it is the incomplete thorn, right, that we saw when he attacked before. So we have this, and this is going to awaken the real thorn. Okay. Karaka? Probably Karaka? I only know Karaka. Thorn shell with the soul. Go back? Thorn shell with the soul. Sure, okay. Wait, what are you doing? I thought Beta was our friend. Nah, he wasn't our friend. We just have some goals that align, but this is the vol volatile thing, so I'm... He's going to be getting the thorn, the devil within us right now? That's what he's extracting? I don't know. <laughs> the cat's even more or less scary. It's so short. Before the camera angle made the cat look kind of big and buff. This is just a cute ass cat with an orange shirt now. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did you betray us? She betrayed us, right? Wait, 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 more, more. <laughs> more tower of betrayal. Motherfucker. We're getting backstabbed by just minor characters all over the place. Sleepy guy. Sleepy guy. Never mind, Horyang. Yo, Horyang's already in ignition mode. Moral of the story, don't trust blonde people. Uh, not Hua... Not Hua Dian, right? Is it? It could be. I'm hoping it is, but this is uh, not Hua Dian, unless it is. The weapon kind of looks the same, honestly. It just might be her, actually. A staff. Hmm? 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, she got a new mask. She got a new gimp suit. Okay, okay, that's her voice. The guide. <laughs> bomb is gonna die? What the fuck, bro? What? How are you gonna end with Beta just penetrating Bomb? But, like, he's not gonna die. He's too important. Maybe this will somehow, like, Activate something dormant or I, I don't know at the end of the day his goal is also to get the thorn I'm not really sure what's going on here today's episode of tired God was again pretty fun
pretty amusing. The battles itself weren't really hype, right, compared to last episode. Who gives a fuck about Wangnam versus these little kids? It was actually more funny than anything. The character designs for everyone else is also hilarious, like the cat and the, like, old man with the red hair. But the plot, the lore. So, what's happening? Enryu showed up one day as an irregular and slayed a floor admin. And the people of the tower realized that even the gods, which is basically the admins, they can bleed. The thorn was a remnant of, you know, the, the crime scene. And it's dormant, it's dead. The devil in the bomb, right? This like, kind of, what is it? Artificial thorn? Impartial thorn? I thought he already had the thorn, but it's not like the real deal. That's the devil. And this can awaken the real deal. And Beta right now is probably trying to access that. Everyone else is caught up in their own different plans and more backstabbing. It's getting a little bit confusing on which sides. Like, like, bro, there's so many different fucking factions just betraying each other and going to swapping in places and like that. But things are cooking. Hopefully next episode and the rest of the arc will be just as good. And the moral of the theme, the theme of the story, do not trust blonde haired girls. That's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.